1965, research scientist Stephanie Qualick was working on finding a new type of ultra-strong synthetic material. After spinning one of her test solutions into a fiber, she discovered that the ultra-strong thread was practically impossible to destroy. This new wonder material was called Kevlar, and it's revolutionized our world. see just how strong Kevlar really is, Susie is going to push this revolutionary material to its breaking point. This is Kevlar, and the reason this material is so incredibly strong is because of both its chemical structure and the way it's manufactured. So Kevlar starts out as kind of a long, thin chain of molecules. These molecules extend and form straight parallel chains. Because of this configuration, the strands form hydrogen bonds, which act like glue. To put this to the test, a strand of Kevlar is compared to a strand of steel. Though the same size, the steel is 10 times the weight. This tensile testing machine can pull the samples apart with a maximum force of five and a half tons. All right, so I've got my steel all set up and ready to go, and I've got a high-speed camera watching it so we can see exactly what happens when it breaks. So, all ready to go. So it's stretching apart. You can see it's straightening the wire out. Oh, okay, there it's gone. The graph reveals the steel broke under 110 pounds of force. Let's try the Kevlar. So it looks quite different from the steel. Just kind of looks like a taut ribbon. Oh! Ah! And as it fails, it sort of pops out. So it fails in a really different way to the stainless steel. And you can see all these broken fibers here now have no strength whatsoever. The graph shows the Kevlar broke under 440 pounds of force. Thanks to the pioneering work of Stephanie Qualick, Kevlar can now be manufactured with such toughness that it now has eight to nine times the strength of steel of comparative weight, and its applications are almost endless.